dudes and dudettes. How are you guys? It's been a while. I know I've been off the grid for a good minute or two. I was going to do this retrospective video last year, but unfortunately complications arose and I was unable to record it. I was busy with the holiday season and New Year's and whatnot, but I'm getting to it now. And well, I hope it's not too late. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this format. If I'm just going to talk about like why the year was terrible for me on a personal level or in general for everyone else because either one would be an extremely long would an extremely long video so i'm going to try to mash up both of them here's the thing the year of 2017 was bad in just about everything i guess like the worst part would have to be politics you know everything that donald trump has been doing over in the united states and I followed a lot of what he was doing on Twitter. People were always, you know, reporting it and there were news outlets and people tweeting and reacting to it. So, you know, and the fact that he's dividing the country from the inside out is already bad enough. But like I already talked about that in another video here specifically about Donald Trump. So you can watch that later if you want. I just want to get that out that the year was terrible for politics as well. And I think that here in my country, Brazil, I think that things were even worse because so much bull crap happened, you know, things like there, there's a lot of corruption here in Brazil, you know, um, involving politics and many politicians were actually, they were caught doing things that they shouldn't have been doing, breaking the law and they were tried and arrested. They were put into prison, but then they were released again. Some went back after a while and others still are released and like, it's just it's kind of crazy over here you know it's, it's almost like the law doesn't really apply to everyone everyone is so corrupt that even those that are like that, that are in control you know like lawyers judges people who actually have control over who goes where even they are being corrupted you know even they are falling into themselves like they're collapsing into themselves like neutron stars and becoming supernovas you know and the explosion is releasing a lot of prisoners that shouldn't be released and Crime is terrible. It's completely horrible. There's a lot of protests happening because of there were a lot of protests because of things being done wrongly, you know, and I tried to research as much as I could. I spent about an hour researching a lot of things that happened. I'm trying to remember them off the top of my head because I don't write scripts, probably should have for this one. But I think that what I really do want to talk about is why 2017 was terrible to me on a personal level, because it just it's what gets it's what hits home harder you know and a few of the things is that well the year didn't start off too well i lost my six-year-old cousin she died of a bacterial infection and well when a child dies especially one who's close to you it's just it's not an easy thing to deal with and a lot of other really terrible things happen a really really rancid situation with an ex-girlfriend of mine who i am pretty sure by now is the devil in human form and everything just you know it just accumulated into me falling into a very deep depression um a little around the middle of the year and i'm actually going to be talking about that in my very next video i'm going to be giving a detailed account of what it's like to go through depression but i think that possibly the worst thing that happened in 2017 was the death of chester bennington who for many years was the frontman for Linkin Park, which is my favorite band ever. And when he died, it just became some, like the world became different, you know? It's like it grew darker somehow. Like there's something missing in the world right now and that something represented, you know, such positivity that it's almost like the world got worse after he went. And it's really hard for me right now at the moment to find a job because there is an economic crisis in Brazil right now that's absolutely horrible. There are millions of people unemployed and it's just crazy to find a job. Makes it a little harder for me to pay for my college tuition, which is how I have so much free time to record videos for you guys. Um, a lot of things uh, on a more miscellaneous level happened. Fell in love once, got rejected pretty badly. It was kind of painful. And it seems like every year I fall in love, I fall deeply in love with someone and, you know, just doesn't go the way I want it to. And what else can I say? I don't even know. It's like there are so many things that happened during the year. I don't even know what to get into specifically. Um, 
my country didn't go forward at all. It didn't make itself better as a country. And, you know, also on a personal level, um, I lost a few friends who I thought were my friends and turned out they weren't. And it was kind of painful also to a certain degree. And I guess the, the only good part about 2017 was Star Wars The Last Jedi, but even that didn't go too well because the day I tried to watch it, I had this huge argument with my mom and my head just melted. Certain people actively try to make my life worse and in 2017, they kicked it into overload and I don't even know what else to say, you know? This is, this is already turning into my video about depression. But basically, guys, it wasn't good at all. You know, it wasn't a good year. A lot of good movies came out. I watched a few of them, but in general, it was a terrible, terrible year for me. That this, this video is going to go into my What's the Damage playlist. I think that my first one last year of 2016 went into uh, the mixer, but this one is definitely What's the Damage, no doubt about it. Um... On the bright side, I did, in 2017, I did kickstart my YouTube channel even more towards the end of the year. Recorded a lot of different videos, new format. And in 2018, I hope to bring you guys even more content. And I think that's it, guys. I, I can't really think of anything else off the top of my head or what I researched. But um, I hope you guys understand, you know, that it wasn't a good year for me personally and for other people. A lot of scandals, controversies in the media, and yeah. I'm not sure this was too much of a retrospective because I didn't really go into too much detail, but it was just such a bad year. 2017, I wish I could erase it from existence. And in my next video, you guys are going to, you're going to understand why for me it was a tough year. You know, I'm going to give it to you guys straight no matter how long the video gets. And I promise to be as honest as possible. Um, I think that's it for now, guys. That's all I can muster. And I hope you guys are doing okay. I uh, hope you had a very good New Year wherever you celebrated. And I hope all of your 2018 goals and resolutions come true. And keep, subs keep subscribing, keep watching my videos, liking, commenting. It really feels good to be connecting to this community. This is Igor Chesterfield signing off for now, and I will see you guys in my next video.